Hey y'all, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alicia and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look using the new Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I wanted to do a look that was more wintry, I guess you could say, because I've already done a couple of holiday looks now, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. This look kind of reminds me of a winter wonderland, and if you want to see how I got it, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off by priming my face, and today I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I love this primer, especially in the winter because my face tends to get more dry. So this is really hydrating, and it gives my face a luminous glow. For foundation, I am using my favorite, which is Born This Way, also by Too Faced, and I am using a tart brush and just going to buff this all over my face and drag it down on my neck. And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty sponge. I'm using the one from Real Techniques just to make sure everything is nice and blended and then there's no streaks. And for concealer, I'm using Shape Tape by Tarte, which I have been using for a while now. I just love it. It's very full coverage and it also brightens. And now I'm just going to set everything with the RCMA No Color Powder. I have been waiting so long for this palette to come out, so I'm so excited. I finally got it. It is the new Sweet Peach Glow Palette. It has a highlighter, blush, and bronzer, and I'm going to be using all three today. For brows, I'm going to be doing what I have been here lately, which is filling them in with the Anastasia Brow Definer. And then I like to go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow to use in the front of my brow to make it look more natural. As I mentioned earlier, I am using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, and I'm starting off with the color Suede, and this is going to be my transition color, and I'm putting this right above the crease and blending it up, and I'm just going to keep building it up until it is the color that I want. Next, I'm taking a crease brush in the shade Stone, which is a real pretty bluish gray, and I'm putting this in the crease and blending it up just a little bit, and I'm going to continue to do this until it's nice and blended and the shade that I want. Now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and making sure all the edges are nice and blended and I will continue to do this throughout the look since I'm working with dark shadows. Now I'm taking a flat shadow brush in the shade Ignite which is a beautiful aqua blue and putting this all over the lid. And now I am lining my waterline with a black gel liner. Now I'm going back in with the shade Stone and putting it on the outer corner and darkening up my crease a little bit more. I wanted to clean up the corners a little bit since I have such dark shadows and I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder again just to clean that up. Now 
And once again, going back in with the shade Stone and putting this all along my lower lash line. Now I'm just dusting off that excess powder and then I'm going to go in with my clean fluffy brush just to blend out my lower lash line. Now on to the lovely mascara faces. If you've been watching my videos, I'm sure you can guess what mascara I'm using. It is my favorite, which is the Tarte Lash Paint. Now I'm going to put on some false lashes. I've been wearing these a lot recently. They look good with eyeshadow or without, and they are the Studio Effect Wispies by Ardell. Now I'm going back in with the shade Ignite, which is that pretty aqua color, and putting it on the inner corners of my eye to brighten it up a little bit. Now to finish off the look, I am using another Too Faced product, one of their melted long wearing lipsticks in the shade Nude. And that will complete the look. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that y'all liked it. And it also helps other people see my videos too. So I would really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and that notifies you whenever a new video goes live. And I hope that y'all have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching. And until next time, bye y'all.